Wheat is one crop that's already being affected by warming temperatures and is predicted to be really negatively impacted by climate change. Hi, my name's Meha Jane, and I'm a postdoctoral research scholar working with David Lobel in the Food Security and Environment Group. My work takes place in northern India, primarily in the state of Bihar. It's, a, it's one of the states within India's main wheat belt, which pr produces about 80% of India's wheat. And it's predicted that temperatures will go up over the next 40 to 50 years, and this could lead to declines in wheat production of about 20 to 30 percent. My background is in remote sensing, so that just means that I use satellite images to map things on the earth from space. And in particular, I'm interested in mapping agricultural production. There are a group of us who are using new tools and image analysis, like new, new satellites like Skybox, new platforms for analysis like Google Earth Engine, to actually map agricultural production at really large scale across the globe. This is really beneficial because it's both time and cost effective and also you can get pretty much global coverage of crop yields because satellite data are available for every region across the globe. So in India we're working with an organization called CIMIT. It's an international wheat and maize breeding institute headquartered in Mexico but they have a regional office in India and they're really focused on how they can help farmers sow their wheat crop earlier, which is one of the main ways to reduce some of the negative impacts of heat stress on yields. And they've done this in a few different ways. One is by introducing zero-till technologies, which help farmers sow, sow their wheat earlier. And then the second is by introducing short-duration rice varieties, which is the crop that farmers plant before wheat. And this also allows them to sow wheat earlier. I've gone to India several times for this project and I think it's really important to speak with local farmers on the ground so we can actually start to understand the patterns that we're seeing from our remote sensing analyses. So to date we've interviewed 250 farmers in this region where we're mapping satellite, uh, mapping so dates and yields from satellites and we're just getting farmers perceptions of whether they think temperatures are actually warming in the region, whether they think there have been any changes in wheat yields. And then we hope to use this information to design interventions moving forward to actually help these farmers avoid a lot of the negative impacts of heat stress. What we want to do moving forward after we have these models really well validated is actually look at sodate trends and yield trends through northern India through time and look at what are the factors that are leading to reduce wheat yield outputs and how might we think of some interventions to actually improve yield. I think the ideal outcome would be figuring out ways to effectively target specific technologies to different regions in India using this amazing new satellite data that's coming out. So I think that this is a really exciting time for satellite image analysis because so many different data products are becoming available, and also because we have the computational tools now to actually analyze these data sets through different partners like Google and their Google Earth Engine platform.